Welcome back folks. Uh, on this one we are going to take a bit of a sideline in a minute. There's stuff I want to do. Uh, for instance, I did want to build a firm and improve the EMC generation. There's many ways to do that. One of the ones I like is industrial foregoing. Uh, in They've got a plant, so uh, let's see somewhere a plant gatherer and a plant sower, which is great. Uh, however, these machines aren't EMCable. They all rely on plastic, which also doesn't have an EMC value. And there's quite a process to go through from tree fluid extraction, uh, latex, um, and all that just to get two plastic each time. So to create machines using plastic, we can't just EMC them out. And it's going to be a bit of a pain. The other thing I really like, and I was seriously considering, is getting into refined storage and improving our storage. But to be honest, for everything that has EMC, the transmutation table is just doing a perfect job of storing it for us. We can literally pull out whatever we want from here in any quantity. The only thing we can't do is automate pulling out the right quantity of the right thing. So I think I'll skip on refined storage as well. But what I would like to do is there's some other mods in here which let you do different dimensions, things like that. They need blaze powder, and we haven't got any at the moment. Um, I'll just double check. Yeah, no blaze rods, no blaze powder. So we need to go back to the nether, find a fortress, kill some blazes, and come back home. Which is easy enough. It's just that it would be a lot easier if we had some ability to fly, uh, some flight ability. So I think what we might end up doing is getting into a jetpack today and putting together a jetpack. So uh, you have to go through the tiers of them to level up each one. So you'll start with wood, then stone, then iron. And the wood one doesn't look too bad. It's four planks, a capacitor, a thruster and a leather strap. We've got most of the bits to make this already so I think we'll go ahead and make one of these. So first off we're going to need planks, a lot of planks. We're going to need redstone and what was the other one, the coil. So we're going to need redstone, iron, sticks, planks and leather as our main things. So let's start getting some of that out. Sticks. Leather. And iron I think it was. And what I'll do, I'll just run through creating the first couple of bits with you but I'm not going to sit here doing a whole lot because you know how crafting looks. I'm pretty sure that will be fairly boring for you. So I'm just making the basic items, making sure we bung them back in so we can EMC them out for the next ones. So wood, that, that, that. So three of them and three of them. Okay, move items. So there's our battery uh, capacitor. And again, it's dead straightforward. I'll be back in a minute when we've made the wood one. So there we go. One wood jetpack. Now we're going to need a way to 
charge it up and at the moment I think what we're going to have to do there's different charging things you can use the one I've seen that I've got my eye on is um, silence battery box that's the one thing I know that's in here which involves a bit of putting together but I think that's going to be the next thing we need to do and then we should be able to use that to charge the jetpack so the only awkward bit of the battery box seems to be the redstone alloy it needs which again actually isn't EMCable as you can see it's got no EMC value on it so this is going to take a bit of making uh, it's just redstone dust and iron you can use iron or ingots or uh, dust or chunks so I'm going to go ahead and start making this and we'll be back once we've got all the bits for that and there we go that's the battery box made right now guess who forgot to ah there was no EMC value on it anyway so I couldn't have checked it in because uh, I did forget to check those two back in the uh, transmutation table but without EMC values on there that wouldn't have worked anyway okay quick sleep okay let's go and install this battery box on the reactor and see if we can use it to charge the jetpack then shall we battery box is taking power from the reactor jetpack is charged right got to wear it on our back it would be nice if we had baubles but obviously baubles isn't available yet for 15.2 and I dare say there's some keys we have to look for for this uh, simply jetpack huh? all right okay that's the other thing that was changed um, I was watching 47 Mark 4 la last night when he updated the pack on the live stream. He put some new things in there. It looks like um, one of them was Journey Map instead of Zero's Map, which is great. I much prefer Journey Map myself, but it looks like the J key is always active. So as soon as I press J here to get to Jetpacks as a category, um, it was Mackley Open Journey Pack. So we've got two conflicted keys here, uh, V and G. So what do they conflict with? V is shape toggle. G is change mode. Shall we see if they work or not? Because some of them do now. Okay, so we are going to need to change them. Find jetpacks again without pressing J. And let's try and find some keys that work. Uh, does it treat the numpad keys as separate from those? Toggled engine on. Whoa. Okay, so yeah, we have a jetpack. How are we doing for power? Okay, so that should come in handy when we go to the nether because it will mean we don't have to create little poles everywhere to get up and down. Right, let's just go and clean up my inventory and then we'll pop back through the portal. And let's go through the game. Okay, straight away I hear a ghast. Let's 
see him now. Definitely out of here somewhere, though. I'm not too far away, judging by the sound of it. Alright, let's have a look. Before I go too far, let's... Oh, that was uh, one of the downsides of the Move From Zeroes map to uh, Journey map. We have to put our uh, waypoints in the game because unfortunately they were specific to the mod. Right. Okay, mm. shall we just pick a direction and go for it then? Uh, where are we? Perhaps if you remember to put your jetpack back on again. Let's turn the uh, jetpack off a minute. I don't really want to be using the fuel instead of jumping. What are these flowers? I'm, I'm not used to seeing flowers in the nether. Uh, Okay, well I can have a look around, try and find a fortress, and I'll be right back with you. So, we uh, haven't found a fortress yet, but we did just manage to get the Return to Sender achievement by throwing a firebomb back at a ghast and picking up a ghast here. Hunting fortress. Here we are. That looks suspiciously like what we're looking for to me. Let's uh, get up here. Turn our jetpack back off. That doesn't look good. Looks like we just crashed. Game crash was rendering entity in the world. No pointer exception. Okay, we're back. It looks from the stack trace like the problem was caused. Oh, hello, Blaze. Um, yeah, as I was saying, it looks like the problem was caused because I've got beheading three on my uh, on my machete. And that's what we came for. We've got a blazer off. That's brilliant. Oh, I'm happy now. We've got exactly what we came for. We'll keep looking around the fortress. But yeah, because my um, iron machete has beheading through, it will try and drop mob heads, which it did successfully for a couple of them. And then for some reason, it tried to drop a player head, and that entity didn't exist, and it caused problems. Right. Okay. Let's just have a quick look around. We'll get some of these. 
always handy to have mush mushrooms, especially these ones because these can be used to craft um, a bed for good night's sleep, uh, which can take you to another dimension. Okay, I can hear you with a skeleton. Yeah. Why do I keep calling them skeletons? With a skeleton up here. Let's see, shall we? If we can get him. Uh, just numb up a bit. Right, okay. Move. Oh no, it was a normal one. Oh no, it was a wither. Oh, we died. Fail. Where was I before we were so rudely interrupted? We're up here. And it looks like that weather skeleton's gone. Probably just as well as totally pwned me. Let's lose that waypoint. And then and whilst we're here, let's see if we can get some uh, nether wart, shall we? Here, the fine powder golden sword, diamond horse armor. Let's take it. Let's try this way then. Okay, I see another. Oh, we got it. Look at the skeleton skull. Got one. Let's be doing from upstairs. Should we see if we can get a couple more with skeleton skulls? If we can, we'll be in a good place then. Not yet, but in the future, to um, summon, summon the wither. Yeah, let's not go that way. Oh, I'm very happy at that. Not only have we found the uh, blaze rod we, we came here for, but we've already got a wither skeleton skull. It's a shame it's just the one, as you know you need, or you may know, you need three of them to be able to summon the wither. So it'd be nice if we could get a couple more. Well, we'll take it. It's got EMC values, so we can always EMC it. I'm still looking for the room with the um, nether wart. I haven't seen that yet. Soul stone. Okay, let's go down. Sounds like blazes out there. And here we are. Here's, here's the room I was looking for. Get some nether wart as well. And some soul sand. And then once we've got that we can... Uh, EMC it up. Oh, I'm very happy with that. So what I'm going to do now, I think, 
is I'm just going to call that a day, head back home and get all this stuff into the transmutation table and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.